First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank second you. of all, we were talking about the gambling for just a second. The under would have cashed if you could have gotten it in. I bet it. You did, you did get the under in. Yes, I bet it. And it cashed. They, they didn't let me bet 400000 Okay. Early today, I went to go, I went to go bet 400000 and they didn't let me bet uh, at a casino that I went to because they said I was a pr promoter, and I'll be setting. I guess they, they thought the fight was going to be set up. I'm not going to set up a fight for 400000 when I'm making over $300 million. So uh, I gave my friend 400000 to go bet. They would only let him bet, bet 87000 so that, so that's one victory, and then there's the big victory. Did tonight go exactly as you'd hoped? That was the game plan. plan. The game plan was let him come out and shoot his shoot his low for the for the first three or four for the first three rounds. Let him shoot his low, slowly start hitting him with big shots to the body. After my dad thought it was gonna be like the the seventh or the eighth, we're gonna break him down, and that was the game plan. Let him shoot his low, but come straight ahead, but get the people excitement. We spoke a few weeks ago, and you said to me. I'm not what I used to be two years ago. I'm not what I was five years ago. I looked at you during this fight and I said, why is he bringing this guy along? Why won't he finish him early? I know you said this was part of the game plan. Was he tougher than you anticipated? I, he's a tough competitor. You know, he, he, he's tough. I don't take that away from Conor McGregor. He's tough, but we had a game plan. Our game plan was we knew he was going to shoot big shots early. We are going to just keep catching, keep catching, keep moving using our defense, shooting shots to the body, hitting, hitting them with big shots up top, and then go toe-to-toe -to -toe and break them down. But how did you know you'd be able to take those shots based on the punching power everybody was saying he had coming into the, the fight? Reason, that's why you, go out, you had to go out there and test it. I went out there and came straight ahead to test his power. And I went back and told my, my dad, we'll take him out in the later rounds. Let him keep shooting, keep shooting. I keep hitting him to the body, and I seen him slowly start deteriorating, and then... Um, I started hitting him with bombs down the stretch. Did he, did he hurt you at any point? Were you concerned no. at any point in the fight? Not at all. Not at all. He's a solid puncher, but it's nothing I never felt before. He, he's not like a, a Madonna or a Pacquiao or a Cotto or a Canelo. Uh, nothing like that, but he's solid. He's a tough competitor. How did you feel about your performance offensively? Because I thought there were times, I thought you could have taken him out earlier if you didn't miss some of those rights you were throwing. Um, you know, he's real awkward. Very, very awkward guy. Be, be jumping around, shooting from different positions, jumping around my back, rabbit punching. But, you know, uh, I, can't be the, I can't be the boxer and the referee. So my job was to keep my composure, keep coming straight ahead, push him, press him, push him, press him, and then get the knockout. Were you turning your back on to him? Did he spin you around, or was that part of your strategy? Well, he was running around me. He was, he was going around. You know, when, when, I, when I was going straight ahead like this, he would go around me and punch me in the back and rabbit punched me in the back of the head. But once again, I can't be the referee and the boxer. You know, I, I'm not in there to cry or complain. My job is to go out there and just fight. Do you think he's somebody that should continue to box? Or should he go back to the UFC? Because I think with a lot of guys that are younger, because you are the one that's saying that you're old now, you don't want to <laughs> fight anybody anymore, but well, there's some young lions in there. Do you think he needs to avoid those guys and go back to the UFC, or that he has the talent to make it in this sport? Um. I think he's going to be a, a, a huge cash cow in the UFC. He has a huge following in the UFC. And um, those young lions in boxing, you know, they're active to where, you know, I'm a lot older. I'm not active anymore. I told you that. Right. So I approach this fight totally different. I feel like I owe that to the fans. Even like I can remember when I fought in the Pacquiao fight, you criticized me. You know, a lot of, a lot of guys criticized me. But at the end of the day, I gave you guys what you wanted to see. I gave you guys blood, sweat, and tears. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was blood in there. And you know, uh, family shedding tears, for uh, tears of joy, and some that said will shed tears. Yeah. And you know, it was blood, sweat, and tears tonight. 50 and 0 is a topic of conversation. Yes. What do you say to the people, the Marciano family, or other people who say, this should not count as victory number 50 for you? Um, McGreg McGregor is a stand-up fighter. He's undefeated in the octagon, standing up. Uh, I just went out there and done my job. My job is to go out there and fight, and that's what I did tonight. I'm not here to knock Marciano or no other legendary fighters. I praise any legendary champion that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. Let me put myself on front street and say that I'm the one that's one, I'm one of those people that's guilty of saying that I wouldn't count this as 50 and 0. But here's why: I believe you're one of the greatest ever, and I don't believe that a boxer, that somebody that has never fought before 
ever deserved the right to be in the ring of somebody your quality. I mean, that's my position. I mean, he's a so fighter. That you say what? He's 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 young. A guy that's 28, that's active. He's fighting, standing up, fighting every day. He started off as a boxer mm -hmm. from the beginning. At 12 years old, he started off as a boxer before he even moved to MMA. So we're not going to take that. We're not going to discredit him or or dog him out. He's a hell of a fighter. He's a stand-up fighter. In the MMA, he only lost when someone got him on the ground in the octagon, whereas in boxing, we fight just standing up from the shoulders. But isn't it fair to say, considering the 200 million plus that you're going to make for this one night's work? No, we, if, no three, over 300. It's over 300. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. It's, uh, I thought my, it was 350. My, my, no, so sorry, it's yeah. my bad. It's my bad. I, I it's, think, over, I, it's, it's over 300 million. I think, I think it's around 350. It's over 300 million for tonight. Isn't and, it fair to say and, you, he wouldn't have even been allowed to talk to you if you weren't talking about that kind of money? This fight wouldn't, wouldn't have been made if he wasn't big and if he wasn't the biggest name. Okay in UFC. What we need to talk about is what happened tonight. Okay. Uh, the live gate for me and Pacquiao done 72 million. We broke the record. And you know, with everybody saying that the fight wouldn't sell out or the fight wouldn't do numbers, we done over 80 million. Uh, uh, the servers crashed in California and in Florida, and yes, we broke the pay-per-view record also. Tell him how. I tell can't him, believe. Tell him how you knew that information. You are and so when you found out that information, that the service had crashed. When did you find that out? <laughs> when I was in the dressing room. That's why I took so long. Did I tell you? Did I tell you? That's why it took so long for us to come out. The public is <laughs> thinking you're so locked in, you're so focused on the fight, the opponent in hand, and yet someone is telling you the details about Florida and California. So I said, we got to put everything on hold. We need, to get every, we need to get every dollar. Every dollar counts. This is a billion dollar fight. Did I not you tell know, you? Ladies and gentlemen, this is, the, this is the money fight. This is a multi-million dollar belt right here. Can I have mm -hmm. it? This is for my, this oh, for my sorry, children. My well, let me say this. You, you, it's, it's over 300, not 200 million. It's over 300 million dollars yes. for tonight, right? 350 million. 350, about, yeah. 50, about 350 million. So I broke million. my record. Okay, so, so you broke your record. I want to say this. With Showtime and CBS, with the deal they gave me, just in three fights, with the Canelo, the Pacquiao, and this fight with Conor McGregor, I think 750. I made over a billion dollars in my career, but just those three fights, 750 from CBS so, and Showtime. So, but your name is Money, and obviously that validates it. Are you uh, sure that if somebody stop, else stop, can't come with the stop, another nine figure? I'm stop, just asking. No, I'm just stop, asking. No. Another nine figure. Can you let me retire and Good. be happy, please? I've tried three times. Just please. Okay. Please, okay. Okay. hey, please. I'll help you out here. Okay. Speaking of okay. money, the okay. last time I saw you after the Pacquiao fight, mm -hmm. you came up to the Sports Center you want set. You see the check? Yes. I got another. Well, and, and, you know what? and you pulled out you the know check. What? I gave the check to somebody. I can pull out and show you guys the, another nine figure check. <laughs> I'm going to come on the Sports Center again, so don't worry. When I come, I'll bring in. I still got the, the check from the Pacquiao fight. Don't tell me you haven't cashed it. Well, I still have it. I asked you about direct deposit. No? Well, listen, I still got the check. So. That, that, that guarantee 100 million, even though I made 300, yeah. the guarantee 100 I still have. Okay, you're done. You're done. I'm not going to bother it again. Tell him, please. No, no, no. Tell He's him. done. He's done, ladies. He's done. It's tell over. Tell it's you, over. He's not you, fighting again. You don't want nobody from MMA or boxing calling me out no more. Tell him. No, no, don't call him out anymore. He's retired. Thank He's, you. He's retired. He's going to be happy. Who's the next Mayweather, money-wise, in the sport of boxing? Do you have somebody that your eye is on? Legitimately, not just somebody from the Mayweather camp. Somebody okay. that's legitimately can be you. I'm a little greasy. I'm a little shiny. Um... Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. We're looking for the next Floyd Mayweather. It's going to be hard. You know, <laughs> it's going to be hard to find somebody. If we could just find a fighter that do a million, a, a million homes, that'd be good. But we, it's going to be hard to find somebody that's doing. What do they have to do? What do they have to do to be anywhere <laughs> near what they need, what, what you think they need to be? What do they have to do specifically? They have to be able to articulate well. They had to be able to uh, communicate. They had to be able to take chances, take risk, and they got to be able to uh, know when to fold and when to hold. They got to work smarter, not harder. And they got to surround themselves with a smart team. And and, they, and certain things that they don't want to do, certain moves like some. A lot of times when I was at the top, you know, when I when I reached the pinnacle, I didn't want to go to ESPN, you know, but I still came and done interviews. I'm telling, I didn't want to fly all the way over there. Cause you gotta, you gotta, you gotta catch a connecting flight. But until I got to the level, I could have my own jet. Once I, once I was able to get my own jet, I didn't mind coming over there. Yes. Okay. Don't want to connect to Hartford. Oh, but uh, listen. Of course, you know I love ESPN. You yeah. know why? Cause you guys 
I fought my, I fought my first fight on ESPN. So I had to take my hand off to ESPN and let everybody know that I'm thankful and I'm appreciative. And every morning, they should watch your show. Well, Every morning, go. they should watch your show. I appreciate that. And support you. I appreciate that. The promo department is cutting How that up that? You right know what now. They need to. They need to. Say first take. Go ahead. Say it. Say it. First take, Sports Center. Where am I? Where am I? Right here? <laughs> Sports Center. First take. Watch it every day. ESPN is number one. Sports World. How about that? Two unbeatens remain. Floyd Money Mayweather and Father Time. Congratulations <laughs> Thank again. Thank you. I appreciate 50 it. 50 and 0 and retiring. For sure. <laughs> For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. He's retired. It's over. Leave me alone. I'm through. <laughs>